And now that we've covered some football, <sighs> here it comes. Time to talk about some football. That's it. It's your one time. You're done. All right, fine. <laughs> but really, soccer's popularity is growing massively in America. So we thought we'd spend a little time talking about the club that, play, play, <laughs> that plays on Skip Bertman Drive. It's the first show, guys. Give us a break. The LSU women's soccer team is four games into their 2013 season, but haven't yet started their SEC schedule slate. Senior midfielder and fellow Tiger TV sports producer Alex Ramsey says this could be the year the Tigers take the conference. I expect to win the SEC, definitely. Uh, that's what our goal is every year, but I think it's even more realistic than it ever has been this year. Miss Ramsey sounding very confident about her team's chances. Patrick, do you agree? Unfortunately, I don't. The LSU soccer program, they've never won the conference, and I don't see it happening this year. Now, last season, one of the issues that played the Lady Tigers was a lack of a driving offense to complement their outstanding goalkeeping, and so far that hasn't really changed this season. You look at their first four games, and outside of a 6 to nothing blowout of a one-win Louisiana Monroe team, the Lady Tigers have combined for just three goals in four games. Their offense has to show more improvement to keep up in a tough SEC. Now, they still got their 25 ranking from topdrawersoccer.com whatever that is, but the two SEC teams ranked ahead of them, A&M and Florida, and LSU plays both of those teams on the road. Sorry, I just do not see it happening this year. Patrick, I'm going to have to disagree with you because of one reason. One. Fernanda Pena. Pena is a beast. Last season, she scored 12 goals as a freshman, and she's already added four more this year. She'll be a big part of the team this year and the main reason why I think they'll win their first conference title. Also, they have a tough road game coming up this weekend at the Minnesota Gold Classic. It should help them prepare for tough uh, road environments such as Florida and A&M that you listed. They weren't quite ready to handle number eight BYU just a few days ago. But if they can steal a win this Sunday against number 23 Southern Cal, I, I have no doubt they'll handle their business with the road SEC contest this year. No doubt. Well, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> the Lady Tigers will look to improve on their 2-1-1 and record tomorrow against Minnesota.